Hello everyone, in the next video I'm gonna talk about a little bit about traits and you know if you remember Java you had interfaces um, you know we have a similar concept here in Scala but they're called traits and you know the, um, you might wonder okay what's what's the deal with traits well the nice part is that a class can you know mix in more traits than just one if you would use an uh, abstract class you can only extend one class um, so that will be one advantage uh, you can you know declare them uh, partially implemented partially not implemented depending how you want so let's start with trait I'm gonna call it animus and I'm defining some um, fields and some methods so field it will be power it's an integer then I'm draining power by uh, rage, which is also an integer. And I'm defining a KO method, which will return a string. And I'm actually going to implement this part. And I'm asking if. Uh, power is bigger than 35. Um, I think I'm do still doing okay. Uh, otherwise, not enough rage. So this is very simple trait. Um, and now let's see what what we can do more. Uh, if I'm gonna define another trait called race, and uh, this race is gonna have just a field called special powers, which is a string. <coughs> and another trait, which is gonna be a night elf, and that's gonna extend the trait race, which is nice. Um, and I can either override the special powers value of the upper one and the special powers this time will be stars rain but I don't really need to override anything I can just say okay special powers for this trait is this and I'm gonna do a blood elf, uh, also extends rays, you know, and the special power for blood elf will be, let's see, an arcane rage. Okay, so you can see the traits can extend each other, so that's pretty much like Java. Um, you can have, you know, fields you can have them implemented or not uh, the methods and the fields the only thing you cannot have in the trait uh, is a constructor so that kind of differs from the abstract class where you can define a constructor but you know probably most of the times you will need one anyway so uh, I'm defining a class here and this class will have you know uh, two arguments for the initial constructor. They're not really fields. They're just arguments and I'm extending the animus So Always the first interface or class that you're extending you have to use the extends keyword and the next one you're gonna have to use uh, The width the mixing uh, keyword. So I'm saying that the power, so I'm defining this uh, values power is uh, equal to the power level that is from the arguments, and I'm uh, defining the drain power by rage.
which is power minus rage. Now I could decide to to leave the KO definition just as the one in the uh, in the trait in the animus, but I decide here to override it. You know, because for this player, KO means actually if power smaller than let's say 20 or bigger than 20 then I'm doing okay otherwise I really don't have enough rage So, with this trait you can do a lot of things. You can mix them in. You can mix them in when you define a class. Uh, you can mix them in when you instantiate a class, which is very interesting and very powerful. Because it kind of replaces that whole idea with uh, has a versus is a. So, we know in Java that we prefer that a class has a, you know, a behavior has a interface uh, so and then at runtime you can declare you know which implementation of that interface it will actually have uh, but in here you can you can do it very easily um, now I'm as you can see the player only extends the animus and not the race so technically I don't have special powers yet But I do have all the other ones, like Drain Power. And I'm only draining by 15. And I have the KO function, which should uh, be the one that I over overrode in the player function. So it should print me theoretically not enough, really not enough rage. And I'm gonna. Uh, run this one and you can see that it says special powers not a member of uh, of the player so then I can either do here I can say with race and uh, here I'm just playing around because I don't know if that's actually going to work and it turns out that it didn't work and the reason why it didn't work was because race trait doesn't have anything implemented um, so the special powers is just a false so I should have had the value so what I'm playing with next without actually going and reading <laughs> to see if I can I can do it uh, when I'm declaring it so I I read about uh, being able to do that so I can say with night elf there and I'm hoping this will work and again amazingly it doesn't work Okay, so what can I do next? Um, I'm thinking that maybe I shouldn't put with race there, but I sh just should leave it with night elf uh, when I'm declaring it. You know, and that seems to make it work fine. And I can define it.
and now I still want to see if that works so I'm saying with blood elf there I'm really trying to see what work what works and what not so the best idea for you guys to do is to just play around um, like I did here and try to see what works and what not and try to remember that with traits you can do a lot of things you can go really wild and I don't think this for the, this uh, very uh, introduction we need to go into that much detail so what I, I tried there there with the race is to just override that uh, special powers but uh, it still didn't work so you know as a challenge for you guys uh, try to see what works and what not and leave a comment about you know extending there and then give it a different value on declaring or you know extending with the upper trait um, mixing the upper trait and you know trying at the runtime to give it a, a subclass of that trait or an implementation of that one uh, this is very interesting exercise and you know this kind of things uh, there's not much that you can go wrong with anyway and I think this is kind of it for for this part of the trades uh, please go ahead and try out and uh, you know make it fail a lot of times like I did there just uh, try to learn <laughs>